Hi there, welcome back to Jody Journals. My name is Jody, and on this channel we do everything from art to baking to gardening. Today we're going to be making a small loaf of bread in our air fryer. Um, my husband and I are on a big soup kick at the moment, and I like to have a nice loaf of crusty bread to dip in my soup. So first you're going to take a cup and a half of all-purpose flour and place it in a large bowl. Make sure you have something to mix with. Um, I'm using my rice spatula, but a wooden spoon or a plastic spoon or any kind of mixing device will work. Next, you're gonna add in a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of yeast. I used rapid rise yeast so that I could get this done within the day. You can use regular yeast and have your bread sit in the fridge overnight if you'd like. And then you're going to add in about three quarter cup of room temperature water or slightly warm water. Once you add your three quarter cups of water, uh, mix the dough and see how it looks. You want a wet, shaggy dough. Um, the humidity was pretty low in my household this day, so I ended up adding in two tablespoons more of water. Um, this is a no knead dough, so we're not going to be kneading it and letting it rise for a second time like you do other types of dough. Um, so a wet dough is actually uh, better for the no knead method. Um, a no knead method just means you let it rise once and then you bake it off. If you're making a bread where you knead in between and let it rise twice, you'll get a yeastier bread with a deeper flavor, but this is a pretty basic bread recipe. Next, you're going to cover your dough in plastic wrap and you're going to put it somewhere warm to rise for between two and four hours. Depending on the temperature uh, where it's sitting, you just want it to double in size. I placed mine in my oven and I let it rise for about three hours. Once your dough has doubled in size, you are going to get a six inch round pan that fits inside of your air fryer. And you're going to place it in the tray and preheat your air fryer and your pan to 400 degrees for 20 minutes. Then you're going to pull your dough out of wherever it was rising 
and you're going to sprinkle a little flour on top of it and your hands and you're going to do a quarter fold. What that looks like is um, you sort of grab the side of the dough and fold it up over itself, turn the bowl a quarter turn, grab another side, flop it over, quarter turn, until you've sort of punched the dough down and folded it into itself. Then you're going to pull it out onto a piece of parchment and create a bit of a ball. You want it smooth on top so that your bread doesn't uh, sort of bloom open while you're baking it. I just plopped my dough on the parchment into a bowl and covered it with a tea towel and let it rest while the air fryer finished preheating. Then once the air fryer is preheated, you're going to drop the dough into your preheated pan with the parchment paper below it and very carefully use your oven mitts to seal the bread inside of the pan. Uh, using tin foil and I really do mean very very carefully it's going to be 400 degrees hot uh, preheating the pan that you bake your dough in helps form the crust and the foil over the top helps trap steam so that your bread can rise uh, and be fluffier Now you're going to bake this in your air fryer for 20 minutes at 380 degrees. Once that's done, you're going to pull out the bread, take the tin foil off, pop it back in at 380 degrees for another 10 minutes. After the second bake is done, you're going to flip your bread loaf over uh, so that the top is on the bottom and the bottom's on the top, and you're going to pop it back in the air fryer for between 5 and 10 minutes. I did 7 minutes and it ended up being perfect, just long enough to brown the bottom of the bread, and when I pull it out, I tap on it, and if it sounds hollow, I know that it's baked through. If it sounds uh, more solid, it may need to bake a little bit longer. So. Uh, the more you practice making bread, the more you'll hear when your bread is done. Uh, when it first comes out of the air fryer, it's going to be very crunchy around the outside. But as your bread cools, the crust does soften up a bit and make it a little bit easier to cut and eat. If you're looking for a very simple bread recipe that doesn't take you all day, this is a great one. Um, most of the cook time is idle while you're waiting for it to rise. 
but I really enjoyed this. The loaf of bread wasn't too big because we used a cup and a half of flour and the crumb is very soft and airy and with a smear of butter on it, it just tastes like heaven. If you want to practice making bread, I suggest giving this a go. The stakes aren't too high, so if it doesn't turn out, you've only wasted a little bit of flour and a little bit of time. I appreciate you being here. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll get back to you. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.